If you're anything like I am, well, then you probably eat eggs. In a good way, though. And if you've ever been in the situation at, you know, let's say a restaurant, the, the server walks up to you and asks you how you would like your eggs cooked. You know, there are so many options. So many people like scrambled. A lot of people like sunny side up. A lot of people like sunny side down. Some people want sunny side gone away. Other people want poached. Some people want extinct. There are so many options, all of which are acceptable. But I feel as if something is missing. And so today, I'm going to teach you how to cook your eggs the max way. And you should be able to ask any restaurant to cook them this way if you feel like you would like someone else to make these eggs for you instead of trying it for yourself. So, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, Heyo everybody, I'm Max and Bees, and today, I'm gonna cook eggs. So, if you're anything like I am, and you want to cook your eggs the max way, the first thing you're gonna need is a pan. So, remember to make as, as much noise as possible when trying to get your pan. Pan. It also helps to make a lot of noise if you're in an apartment complex. Uh, everybody really likes it. They know that you're cooking eggs the max way, which I think will only entice more people to cook your eggs the same way that you are. So, once you've got your pan, you know, which is a pretty big step, you really want to just like rub your hand around in there. Once you have your pan, the next step is the most important. And this step, I, I cannot stress enough. You need to make sure that your pan is nice and slick. You know, you need a little, a little something to, to let everybody know that your pan is real non-stick, even if it says non-stick already. So, what you want is Pam. And Pam, being the lovely lady that she is, is willing to do anything she can to help make your eggs perfect. So, really just use enough to make sure that it's nice and coated. There we go, that ought to do it. Now that you've got a nice non-stick pan <coughs> and it's kind of hard to breathe, which is what you want. You want everybody to be excited about your pan. Now, you want to go ahead and turn your... Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'll show you. You want to go ahead and turn your heat all the way down there to med. Now, when you turn it to med, what's happening? is it begins to meditate on what's actually happening. So your eggs have time to think before actually going into the pan. Next step, make sure you have eggs. Ah, fuck. All right, so I don't have any eggs, but next best thing, cheese and a carrot. It'll work just as fine. You can ask the restaurant to do any kind of substitutions. You know, some people don't want eggs, but they still really enjoy cheese. You know, that's fine. Just let them know ahead of time that you don't want the eggs. Look at that baby sizzle. Wow. Pristine. So while you're waiting for your pan to get hot, the next thing you want to do is stare aimlessly at the panda who lives in your apartment. Because the panda knows what you've done. And you can't escape it. But he's not going to mock you for it. No, no, no. The panda loves you. So long as you keep your secret. Isn't that right? Oh, you guys want to see something cute? Isn't that just adorable? Isn't that just the damn 
But isn't that just the best damn thing you've ever seen? I come home every day and I look at this silly rag, and I am just so tickled. Oh, all right, our pan's getting hot. So, now that we've got a little bit of a warm pan, you want to go ahead and take your carrot and put that right, right in the center. You can really hear that baby heat up. Mmm. Isn't that just a great looking bright, bright, bright carrot? So after you start to see that some of the some of the pan that you put in there is starting to smoke and separate from where the carrot is, what you want to do is take all the cheese that you've got and just dump it right on in. Really just pile it on there. Now the cheese is going to get a little firm and a little melty. You got to move it real quick. You kind of want to kind of want to coat the carrot in this bad boy. It's okay. It's okay, carrot. It's going to kind of Whip that into a little ball, turn the heat off. And let that puppy work its magic. Now it's gonna smell pretty bad, but uh, it, it, it's not gonna taste much better either. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this one to Tabby. Just like, hey, I made eggs. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, once it's cooled down, you just kind of, uh, you, you just want to kind of fold that warm cheese and give it a firm pat, you know, if, if you want, just really, really get some of that, some of that grease in there. It gives it, uh, culture. There you go, now one side's looking pretty nice. So what you do then, is you go a looking in your fridge, and you go, hey, you, you know what that is? That's, uh, that's soy sauce. So then you just, kind, you just kind of, ju you know, just enough. Uh, just enough to make your house smell like a sushi restaurant. So, once that's all nice and, you know, and the heat's kind of gone out of it, you want to make sure you're not dripping too much anymore, and you just kind of, yeah, that's the ticket. And, uh, now you got eggs. So, uh, bone apple teeth, everybody. Gosh. But seriously, please don't eat that. Please don't do anything to put that anywhere near your body. Uh, it's probably toxic, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to read. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. That's that's how you make eggs. That's how you make eggs the max way. So next time you're out uh, having a nice brunch with your family or, or just a, a nice date with, with whoever you're with, you know, ask the restaurant if they'll cook them that way and uh, you'll have yourself a tasty little treat. Maybe less Pam. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications uh, for when I put out new videos. 
Uh, and hopefully you never have to eat those eggs. Hopefully no, nobody ever has to recreate this uh, dish. I smell so bad. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Max and Bees. And remember everybody, always be yourself. See you later.